Well, Lake Coeur d'Alene is very close to hitting flood stage, and when it does, boaters will have to be very careful when enjoying the water, because if they don't, they'll get charged with a misdemeanor. KXOI 4's Anu Sharoy shows us where people are watching for flooding in North Idaho. Oh my gosh, that is the river. It is just, it is so, it's like a, a traffic sound. It is very, very loud. The Usually when Jeanette Paxton looks out her back door, it's a scenic and peaceful view. It's just risen within, I mean, you almost hate to look out every few hours because you know it's come up really quickly. Now she's just one of many people watching for flooding, whether it's the Spokane River or Lake Coeur d'Alene. We're looking at hitting that about 10 o'clock tonight. When Lake Coeur d'Alene hits flood stage, a no-wake zone immediately kicks in. That goes for Fernand Lake and Spokane River. It means boaters will have to go five miles per hour or less, and their wakes have to be smaller than four inches. It's important to prevent erosion, protect property, and for safety. So we have a lot of floating debris out there, some big stuff. We get calls, we've been getting a lot of calls about partial docks and logs. Here at the 3rd Street Boat Launch, we already have a water over road sign, and you can see part of the boat launch. The ramps are underwater, and this weekend, deputies plan on keeping an eye on boaters. Whatever happens to Lake Coeur d'Alene impacts Harbor Island. You're just seeing that underwater. For a community that's all too used to flooding, they're busy preparing, and conditions are constantly changing. Coeur d'Alene River is dropping off and the lake could crest at a lower level than expected. So now all Jeanette Paxton can do is wait and see what happens. And Mother Nature has the final say. In North Idaho, Nusha Roy, KXLY4 HD News.